Hey guys, it's Barry from the Yamar Academy. Today we're talking Bull Series UTVs and how to clean the air filter. Under normal operation, the air filter should be cleaned every 20 to 40 hours. It should be cleaned and lubricated more often if the vehicle is operated in extremely dusty areas. All right, first things first, it requires absolutely no tools to remove the air filter. I've got a UTV sitting behind us. Let's go ahead and go pull this thing. Never run your UTV without an air filter. Doing so could cause engine damage and cause your engine to overheat. The air filter is located beneath the middle seat. To remove the seat cushion, simply lift the front of the cushion. Lift up the rubber damper and then remove the covers by removing the quick fastener screws. Remove the air filter case cover by unhooking the holders. Then remove the air filter element while pushing the projections on the air filter frame inward Remove the air filter element holder. Now that the filter is removed, grab your gloves and let's get to cleaning. Before cleaning a wet type foam air filter, remove the filter element from the inner frame. Completely submerge the element in clean high flash point solvent. Warning, using gasoline or other flammable solvents to clean the air filter element can cause a fire or explosion, which could lead to serious injury or death. Repeatedly submerge and squeeze the filter to work the solvent completely through the filter material. This breaks down the foam filter oil and releases a good majority of the dirt. Continue this process until the filter appears clean. Carefully squeeze the filter to remove excess solvent. Never wring or twist the element as this can tear the foam material or cause one of the glue seams to split open. Now wash the filter a second time using a mild dish soap and warm water. This will release the remaining dirt and solvent residue. Wash the filter until no further dirt comes out. Skipping the second wash in soap and water can leave dirt trapped in the filter that can enter your engine causing increased wear and oil consumption. Now rinse the filter in clean warm water until all the soap is removed. Carefully squeeze the filter to remove as much water as possible and pat the element with paper towels. This will help reduce the overall drying time. Closely inspect the filter. Check the seams for glue deterioration or separation. Check for tears in the filter element or damage to the air box sealing surface. If the filter is damaged, replace it. Be sure to clean the filter element frame and allow the filter to dry completely before new oil is applied. Be sure to only use the correct type of oil such as a Yanmar foam filter oil purchased at a Yanmar authorized dealer. For best coverage, we suggest using a sealable type plastic storage bag. Insert the clean, dry filter in the bag. Add three quarts to a full bottle of Yanmar foam filter oil. This is more than needed, but we want to make sure that we get complete saturation of the oil into the filter material. Remove as much air as possible and seal the bag. Now squeeze and mash the bag with your hands, making sure to spread the oil throughout the entire filter. Using rubber gloves, remove the filter and carefully squeeze out the excess oil. Again, be careful not to wring or twist the filter. We want the filter element saturated with oil, but not so much that it's dripping out of the filter. Now work the filter with your hands to evenly distribute the oil throughout the entire filter element. This can take some time to do properly. When finished, the entire element should be covered with foam filter oil with no dry spots. Incomplete oil coverage can lead to dirt or sand ingestion, which causes increased engine wear and oil consumption and possible engine damage. Now let's reinstall the air filter into our UTV. First pull the sponge material over its frame, install the air filter element holder, and install the air filter element. Fit the holders on the air filter case cover onto the projections on the air filter case. And then install the air filter case cover by hooking the holders onto the cover. Install the covers in their original positions by installing the quick fastener screws. And then place the rubber damper in the original position. To reinstall the seat cushion, insert the projections on the rear of the seat cushion under the seat frame. Then insert the projections on the front of the cushion into the grommet while pushing the cushion downward. Ensure you get the seat properly mounted back in place. A loose seat could cause the operator to lose control or one of the passengers to fall out. Proper air filter oil application is critical. 
trying to pour oil directly on the filter wastes oil and will not provide complete coverage. Motor oil does not have the correct properties for air filters. It will not stay suspended in the foam material and it will drain out of the foam, leaving no oil film to trap the dust, dirt, or sand particles. Spray filter treatments may be convenient, but also produce spotty and uneven coverage. So there you have it guys. Quick, simple, easy job, but one that's very important to keep your UTV rolling at maximum performance. Until next time, I'll see you at the Yamar Academy.